Hi everyone, welcome back to the card table. Thanks for all your emails. A lot of you have been asking me how I like to practice with playing cards. Well, when it comes to that, I've got some very strange habits indeed. For instance, shuffling cards. I have these very strange ways of doing it, and I'll try and demo some of them to you now. And as you can see, this is not a conventional way of shuffling cards. You get a pretty good mix like this, but there's another better way of shuffling cards, it's called the casino shuffle, that's where the cards are interlaced one on top of the other like that also, so let me see if I can demo that for you, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this shuffle before, and I don't know about you guys, but I would say that's a pretty good shuffle, but the question is, what sort of a person in their right mind would want to shuffle a pack of playing cards like this, only a magician would do something silly like that, right? Well, believe it or not, there is a method to my madness, because I know that if I could find cards under these chaotic conditions, I could find cards under any conditions. So, for example, say I was playing poker, and I was hoping to cut to an ace. Well, if I could do that, then that would be pretty useful. But one ace probably wouldn't be enough on its own. I'd probably want to have two aces. So that's uh, two aces down, two to go. Now, bear in mind, these cards have been shuffled under very strange conditions. That is to say, some of them have been shuffled face up, some of them have been shuffled face down, so to try and find cards under these conditions is a very difficult thing to do indeed. But I'm going to go for the third ace now, the ace of hearts, so if I cut the cards, oh sorry, that's not the ace of hearts, um, well nine's my lucky number, bear with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, nine, the ace of hearts. Luck be a lady tonight. Works every time, you know. So that's uh, three down. We're looking for one more now. We've got to find the ace of clubs, I believe. Now, this is very difficult, so I have to do two things. The first thing is give the deck a twist and a rub. That does two things. The first thing is it straightens out the entire deck, and the second thing is it reveals that missing ace. And that is how I like to practice with playing cards. Uh, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time at the card table.